What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Wanted to tackle the latest controversy in the gaming space with Horizon Forbidden West, the sequel to the smash hit Horizon Zero Dawn. And it's a game that I personally am extremely excited about, really looking forward to it. Uh, can blow the dust off my PlayStation 5 and actually use it. Yes, I can't wait for Horizon Forbidden West, which has already been delayed at least once, I don't know, maybe twice. It was supposed to come out around the launch or the launch window of the PlayStation 5 and that can got kicked down the road, pandemic, other random miscellaneous excuses. But now there's a controversy and it's before the game even comes out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell for notifications. I would really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get to today's topic. Horizon Forbidden West compared to Horizon Zero Dawn. And I'm going to overlay a video here and show you what the controversy is all about. A lot of people are going to be talking about this if they haven't already. And it kind of, from somebody, if you guys have known me for a while, somebody working in the video game industry previously who knows how game development goes, who understands and grasps a lot of concepts, it's funny to me that this is an issue. It's a non-issue. It's, it's literally gameplay mechanics. They're saying how this game takes so long to come out, yet the mechanics are exactly the same with only graphical enhancements. Now, I'm not gonna stand on a hill and, and, and defend that this game is totally different from the original, because I haven't played it. But what I am gonna say is working in the game industry before, you take shortcuts when you can to make other areas of the game better. Like, if jumping off a cliff in a game and swinging around and throwing your hook shot and grappling and pulling yourself up was perfected the first time. Why in the hell would you waste money and time and resources to recreate what was already perfected? Why? I, it just, it blows my mind. And the people that are latching onto this that says the devs are lazy or or all oh, look they're charging seventy dollars for a reskin of a game. Give me a break. That kind of stuff drives me insane. On behalf of the hardworking game developers out there that have been busting their ass for the past God even knows how many years to make this game as good as possible. It's just absolutely crazy to me. People will look for anything to tear you down in the world we're living in, like. Not to stand on a soapbox here, but it just, it drives me insane that people can't just be happy with a game. They can't be excited for something anymore. They have to look for things to be pissed about. That's, that's what this is. And yeah, there's been some people that have come to defense of it. It's similar to me. That's just like, it's crazy to even bring this up, but it is something that I agree should be acknowledged. I don't want to say ignore this. I'm saying acknowledge it understand it, digest it, grasp it, figure out, okay, that's how game development works and improves and gets better. Where you work really hard on perfecting certain aspects of a game, make a direct sequel to it on a new platform, update the graphics, enhance it, and make a new storyline and new worlds and new characters and just so much new stuff. I just, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And the reason why I wanted to make a video on this is because it's not the first time that this has happened. When the new God of War came out on PlayStation 4, fantastic game, by the way, if you haven't played it, there was a uproar about how Kratos entered the boat and how it was the same quick time event of him entering the boat in a previous God of War game. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> It's just funny to me. People are trying so hard to find things that they hate instead of enjoying what they love. So that is the Horizon Forbidden West controversy currently. Before the game's even out, people are already jumping on the bandwagon to attack it. I mean, 
look, if, if reusing some quick time scenes or assets with improved graphics is something that you don't want to pay for or play, okay, speak with your wallet. Like I always say, I don't, I don't understand how this is something that's offensive to people. I don't, I don't get it. And the sheer amount of replies on the Twitter feed that are jumping on the developer for this blew my mind. So I guess this video is just me standing up for the developers saying, if you're gonna try to take down a game company for their hard work, do better. These guys bust their ass all the time and it just, it blows my mind that there are some gamers out there that are never satisfied. Nothing will ever please them. They just wanna be the most depressed, angry, bitter people on the planet. And I'm used to it. I've been doing YouTube for what, four and a half, five years now. I get it. I, I've seen it time and time again. It never goes away, but I, I like to take these moments to acknowledge that, hey, step outside yourself, realize it's just a game and you don't have to play it. But for me, I'm still excited about it and can't wait to play Horizon Forbidden West. Gonna leave it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash, 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 smash.